So I will show you the feather I have. This is an actual feather and um, put it over here. This is a pigeon feather that I found. We've got a lot of pigeons here. So there's lots of these around and there's kind of the paler, paler gray and then a bit of a darker brown up at the top. And we're just going to um, suggest the details of this feather. It's not gonna be completely accurate. So we've got that outline and now we will do some painting. I'm going to start by doing um, a nice pale grey wash on each side. I'm just going to wet one side at a time. My paper is glazed and wet. I'll drop in that color and drag it up. And then I'm going to just pull a bit of light out in the middle area, lower on that feather. And I'm just using a damp brush to suck up some of that paint. Now I'm going to wet the other side, do the same thing. that's still damp I'm going to drop in some of the darker color along the top and then I'm gonna rinse my brush and sort of catch the edge and just kind of drag it down so there's a nice smooth transition And what you can also do is grab your brush and kind of feather it out a little bit like that with your hand. Oops, I think I made some splatters. Don't do that. And then just lightly So now that I blended that side out, I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side of the feather. I'm just laying in the darker color, um, kind of a wet on dry until it meets the area of the feather that's still wet down below so I can blend it out. And I'm just gonna softening the edge there and blending it so it's a smoother transition. When in doubt, do less, because um, this is the kind of part of painting where you can make a mess. Um, I fiddled around in that and on the other side a little bit, but you can always let it dry and then blend again. Um, but if you keep working it, you can kind of muck it up. I'm just dabbing out a little bit of the color there to keep my light gray spot. So you can use a damp brush and kind of lift out a little bit if you go over too much. And I'm just checking that that side is dry. I'm hitting it with the hair dryer a little bit. Now I'm going to 
gonna use a smaller brush and paint in the center of the feather or the quill um, with uh, a dark color, but I'm gonna leave some areas white um, for a highlight showing through to give it more definition and give it the look of being round. If you have a smaller brush, this would be a good time to do that. Um, or you could use a larger brush and try and use a very light, light um, pressure on the tip so you get the thinner line. So now what I'm going to do is add some of the darker color beside the middle of the feather to give a bit more depth. So I'm going to do wet on dry with the darker section and then blend it. And then I'll do the same thing on the other side as well. And making it darker closer to the middle of the feather will give it the illusion of a little bit more form and the way the little bristles sort of curve in there. And just blending it out again, keeping that transition nice and smooth. same thing uh, with a lighter color but darker than the initial gray I used um, which I believe this is a mix of ultramar ultramarine and light red which makes a really nice um, shadowy gray for watercolor and I'm just adding in that sh shadow before beside the vein vein quill I keep getting mixed up with leaves So now I'm going to go back in with my micron pen and I'm going to add some texture and sort of indicate the way um, the feather, the little pieces that come out from the middle of the feather are going. Um, I, on my form, more formal paintings I would do this all with watercolor, but since we're doing a quicker sketchbook study, um, you can also go ahead and do that with your micron pen. I'm using the smallest one, which is the 0.25 millimeter, I believe. And just making those lines, they're kind of like little S shapes. If you have a real feather, it's best to look at that rather than a picture and then you can see exactly the shape that they go because um, it's not always exactly what you expect um, just looking at a picture. So unfortunately I am left-handed and the way I write or draw often gets in the way and kind of covers up what I'm doing which I know is not ideal for demos so I apologize for that. So 
So I'm gonna do a little bit more detail work on the darker part of the feather uh, because the pen is gonna build up and be more dense and create that and help us create that darker color. So closer to the quill in the middle there, I'm just doing little strokes that mimic that part of the S shape. And as you will see, it's gonna build up a nice amount of depth and shape there. So I will do the same thing on the lighter part of the feather, but just a little bit less because it is a lighter color, so there's less need for so much definition and pen marks. And here I am doing it on the other side as well. So as well as doing the little strokes towards the middle, I'm also working from the edge of the feather in, creating the other portion of the little, I'm not sure what they're called, fibers or little strands all that make up the feather. Um, and I am leaving a little bit of space on the lighter area in the middle and making some broken lines rather than going all the way across to imply a little bit of a highlight and just give it more shape um, and again reserve some of the lighter paper without pen because it's such a pale gray right there as you can see it's now coming together and it's looking a little bit more like an actual feather I'm just making that side darker and going along um, again over the middle area just straight in there to make it a little bit more shadowy. You could also do this by just going over once with a bit of a thicker nibbed pen. I could have just went up a size with my pen and done that instead. But this worked as well. Last little bit of definition in the middle there. Just important to make sure that you keep your shape um, of shading the same in each area that you're working. So again, I've got that nice highlight there. I've left some broken lines and I haven't been really heavy with the pen through that lighter area and it's made a big difference. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments down below. And I will see you again with another video very soon. Thanks.